Coming in. Oh, it smells phenomenal. <laughs> Joining us this morning, we have the head chef from Four Points by Sheraton in downtown Tallahassee, Robert Averett and Mark Xenophon. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. Making some traditional, this is a British food, right? Yep. Beef Wellington. It's definitely a British food. <laughs> oh, I, I'm telling you, we were just talking. It just smells like a homey, yeah. home cooked kind of meal. Nice, heavy Perfect meal. Perfect with this change of weather here. So we're excited to see kind of what goes into this. Because I'll be honest, I've never had Beef Wellington. <laughs> no, yeah, me neither. You see, Real Okay, both I'll of us. I'll jump, I'll jump in and show you how it's Okay, well, you show fresh. us how it's okay. done, right? Um, normally, you know, nice puff pastry. Right. But this is um, wild mushrooms. Oh, okay. okay. See, oh, I thought that was stuffing with nope. mushrooms. It's uh, yeah. wild mushrooms with a little bit of garlic and shallot and then just however much salt and pepper you like. And you can fill them however full you like. It depends on how much you like mushrooms on. Now, how That's easy true. is this for, you know, maybe a novice chef it really, at home? You know what? It really is easy. It takes a little bit of time That's to good. get everything going. Ooh. But Doesn't that smell smells good? Really it really does. And it's a, it's a nice, simple dish. You know, it's nothing overly complicated. It's a filet mignon, which everybody loves it. Exactly. Sign really me wrong. up for that, you right? Wrong. You can't go wrong. <laughs> you know, what, are you getting, what are you getting on there as the paste? It's there? just a little bit of egg wash just okay. to moisten the edges and seal it up nice and tight. Edible yeah. glue. Yeah. Edible yeah. glue. Right. It's, exactly. it's pretty much right. It's just a universal all together. All good, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> But you don't have to use the wild mushrooms. It's just that's a preference of mine because gotcha. I like the way they smell. That's true. That, um, that, that's exactly what we smelled. Right and you don't want to when you do it too. You cook your meat a little bit first. Okay. So you don't want to mm -hmm. put you don't it in put there the raw, raw meat because in then you're gonna have a raw steak on gotcha. top of it. Oh, so rare. Uh, I cook it rare, rare yeah. and then it goes in the oven probably 25 to 30 minutes yeah. to nice golden brown. Um, and then you're gonna come out with a medium to medium rare steak. Okay. Okay. Which is good, um, a little bloody, but again, yeah, at least you got well, you singed can go, on you the can outside. Well, you can go over, too, when you're initially cooking your mm -hmm. steak off, but you want to make it nice and tight on and it, too. And look at that. And then, well, that's... That's, like the, a, that's the not pretty side. This well, is like a fancy, like a fancy like this, burrito. Oh, but yeah. Like a high class oh, yeah. burrito. Yeah. And everybody can do it. it <laughs> right? Really that impresses is people dish. when you serve this at a party. And right. you can just kind of yeah. nice and Okay, gentle. and this kind of gives it that golden brown color Yeah, it gives a beautiful shine to it. Um, and then you can do it with any type of sauce you want over it. Oh, okay. Um, I like doing a demi glaze, which is a beef stock, you know, thickened up a little bit. And mm -hmm. I like to use added mushrooms and shallots to mine just because it gives it that little extra flavor to it. So, okay. how long does this little pocket of flavor take to actually cook? <laughs> yeah. 25 to 30 minutes. Really? On, it's really it depends bad. on what temperature your oven runs. I'm going to say cook yeah. it at 350 to 375. Okay. Nice and golden brown. But when you take it out of the oven, the trick is let it sit for 10 minutes. Okay. Otherwise, don't cut don't, in right no, away. Don't cut in right away, even though you want to. Otherwise, your juices are going to kind of escape You'll on you. You'll lose all the flavor, you and that's the best that. part, right? Yeah. And now, is this something always on the menu at Four Points, or is this kind of a this seasonal is, favorite? Yeah, this is something uh, special that we want to do for the holiday season, um, yeah. and we have a fantastic deal going on right now with our holiday parties. Um, so if you book by October 31st, you can get up to 75% off your event space. Wow. Oh. And we have a, a fantastic banquet crew and catering team and obviously the culinary team is fantastic do amazing things like this so we want you guys to come out and uh, just Enjoy your party. Don't you love the things <laughs> that chefs can create yeah. for oh, us, right? Look really at how beautiful yeah. that looks. This looks a little bit more exciting than maybe your average beef wellington. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's such a simple meal, but it looks so fantastic yeah. and it's so hearty, and it, it it's just amazing. And, and team does a fantastic. Fill you up, keep you satisfied. I was oh, yeah. gonna say, and you yeah. added it too. You got some potatoes, some asparagus Dude, yeah. there. You can't yeah. go wrong. Oh with no, us. and it's honestly, it's something fun you can do at home. Even if you know holidays coming around, you got family, play with the kids, teach them how to do it. It's exactly. just something really enjoyable for everybody. And once you kind of master, I feel like. The folding part could be the trickiest. Once you kind of master tricky. that, you I mean, there's a lot of different recipes that you can use that oh, for. We can do it. We actually have it on our menu. If you don't prefer beef, I know a lot of people don't, but we actually have a chicken version of it that oh. you can do. Oh. Nice. You can even be a little bit sneaky and sneak a salmon in there and do a nice oh. salmon. Salmon, <laughs> salmon in there. You, yeah. guys, you can put anything oh, yeah. so pretty much in here, if you, if right? As long as it's in a pretty package. Exactly. If you can, <laughs> if you can make a burrito, you can make this. You can make this. Pretty much the same roll. Try it this weekend, or else head out to Four Points by Sheraton and Chef Avery. I'll make it for you. There you Absolutely. go. Perfect, Perfect deal for Thank me. You, you saw so the much. recipe on your screen. <laughs> and of course, we'll have it again online, WTXL.tv. Thank you both for much. Thank you, Thank you so much. We appreciate it. it. Stay with us. We're back in just two minutes.